Move on then to the next question, and that's in the name of Assemblymember Arbour. It's uh, question number 944, and it's, uh, the title is Heathrow Expansion. Yeah, um, of course, as usual, Tony, you are completely right. Um, I, I, I think that um, it is incumbent on, on those who oppose uh, a third runway at Heathrow, which is the right thing to do, I think, uh, a view shared by absolutely everybody in this horseshoe, um, uh, it, it to also to come up with a, a, their own view. And I know that the Greens don't want any runways uh, anywhere ever. Uh, that's a, um, their position. Um, but people who want to see economic growth, want to see this country competing with the rest of the world, uh, profess to have an interest in uh, the success of the UK economy, uh, they've, got to, they've got to come up with a solution. And um, uh, that's why uh, I, I would like to see uh, Liberal Democrats uh, who uh, oppose uh, Heathrow uh, a third runway uh, explain exactly uh, what they would do. Yep. I, I was glad to hear your latter comment, uh, Mr Mayor, uh, because the uh, Member of Parliament for Twickenham, who is a member uh, uh, of the government, has advertised the fact that uh, he proposes to attend a rally, which is going to be attended by you, which is to uh, launch a referendum of the residents of Hillingdon and Richmond-upon-Thames against the third runway. Um, the uh, minister says that he is going to attend that, no doubt because there will be photographers there. You know, it, it, it's well known, isn't it, uh, Mr Mayor, that Liberals will attend the opening of an envelope, providing a photographer is present. Um, uh, well, this, this, I don't think that, come on, Tony, that's not the worst vice of a politician. I mean, we've got to be honest here. You know, we're all in this game, Tony. Okay. Can we have the question, Mr Arbour? It, it, in, 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 those in those circumstances, without there being um, an alternative proposed by the uh, Liberal Democrats uh, to what would happen uh, when there is no expansion of Heathrow, their lack of vision, the sort of vision which you and uh, people sitting on this side of the horseshoe have expressed by suggesting that there shall be an additional airport uh, in the estuary or there should be um, expansion elsewhere. Under those circumstances, do you think it right uh, that a Liberal Member of Parliament should attend the rally? Well, um, I, I'm sure that people will be making that point uh, to Vince um, uh, if and when he, he appears, and um, I, I will certainly be making it myself, and we yep. look forward to, to hearing what he has to say. No, I hadn't finished. The, uh, the rally, as you know, um, is at uh, uh, Barn Elms, uh, Mr. Mr Mayor. Um, do you think that the road, therefore, to Barnes for Liberal Democrats, and I want to be fair to the Liberal Democrats, I find it very difficult, but I do, I do want to be fair to them, and indeed, and no, indeed the no, local Mr. Labour Arbor, Party. Mr Arbour, your question is about Heathrow expansion. It does not say here in front of me that it's an attack on the Liberal Democrats. Now, can I have a question about Heathrow expansion? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> two hours attacking the Kazoo Party. <laughs> Jeanette. Can I have a question I, about the Heathrow expansion? Are, 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 you, are you aware that there is absolutely massive support in South West London from all political parties to the expansion of Heathrow, absolutely. but there is only one political party, ours, which is suggesting a viable future for uh, air travel? Uh, in, in, into the capital. Under the circumstances, do you, like me, hope that the road to Barnes is going to be the road to Damascus for those doubters who sit opposite and to my extreme left. Absolutely. I mean, I, not, I mean not obviously the road to... I, I, it, I hesitate to, to, compare, uh, to compare Heathrow to, to modern Damascus, which is obviously in a, in a, in a, in a, in a bad way. Uh, but um, but what I, I, what I, I think in that sentence, by the way, you meant, uh, you meant opposition rather than support. Uh, you said there was, massive, there was massive support for Heathrow expansion. Support for the rally. Oh, support for the rally, I'm sorry. Yes, um, okay. yes there is support for the, the, for the rally. And I, I certainly agree with you, Tony, that uh, those who oppose uh, Heathrow expansion, which is the right policy for London, uh, should be coming forward uh, with uh, a solution. Uh, we are uh, currently at work on uh, refining proposals, uh, which I believe are far more attractive and will deliver uh, much, much greater economic benefits 
uh, for this country. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Still on the Heathrow uh, expansion, Assemblymember Malthouse. Uh, Mr Mayor, given that political campaigning and political advertisements are banned on London public transport, do you think it's appropriate for Heathrow to be advertising so as to try and influence the Davies Commission on the tube at the moment? I, I think it's very interesting that Heathrow are uh, calling for that area to be built on. They're saying let's build on, on Heathrow and let's have more runways and, and uh, more planes coming into uh, to London. I think, I think actually it is helpful that they are raising the issue to uh, public attention. I think people can see what they're trying uh, to do, and I think it, it, is, it is also important uh, that we explain the context in which they're making these claims. Uh, if you have more planes coming into Heathrow, you increase uh, suffering noise pollution, for all, for, which is already endured by three-quarters of a million people. 766,000 people in London already suffer uh, noise pollution above uh, EU uh, levels. That's a third of all the noise pollution victims uh, in the whole of the EU. Uh, I think Heathrow's campaign uh, is uh, ill-judged by them because it gives us a chance uh, to elucidate uh, the reality of the situation. Would you also, therefore, as the chairman of TfL, welcome the other side of the debate being proposed through the uh, advertising hoardings on the tube? Um, I... I you know, we'd have to look at whatever advertisements came uh, before us and, uh, and, and make sure that we, uh, we followed, the, followed the letter of the law. But uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what they produce. Okay. But I'm, I'm content uh, that uh, what the campaign shows is the um, alarm in Heathrow that they are losing the argument. They are losing the argument about expansion of that airport. They know full well that Londoners will not tolerate a massive degradation of the quality of our lives, uh, and they also know that, there, that Heathrow doesn't provide the long-term solution. Uh, we'd be simply uh, compounding a historic planning mistake. Okay. Assembly Member Tracy, have you got a very elegant question? Uh, yes, yes, Madam, as ever. As ever. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On Heathrow thank you, Express. Thank you for your kind attention. Expansion, even. Um, yes, Mr. Mayor, um, I, I believe you're going to be at the mega rally, is that correct, on the 27th uh, of April? If it's the one I'm thinking of, I, yes, yes, uh, I, 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 yes. I certainly hope so, along, with, along with Tony and myself. And, of course, when you're there, I hope you, you will pay tribute to the very hard work and consistent hard work of Justine Greening and oh, Zach sure. Goldsmith, along with the yeah, two yeah. council leaders, Ravi Govindia of Wandsworth and Nick, Nick True of, of, uh, of, of Richmond. I because they, they have been absolutely consistent and very important in this. And, and, and while you're there, will you impress upon everybody, including the government, that they do need to move forward very quickly on this? And, I mean, you've said this before, but please say it again, because I was at a meeting uh, um, a couple of weeks ago when the managing director, I think he was, of Schiphol, was sitting back and laughing, They're laughing wh at whilst They're we lunch. vacillated in I this know. country. The dithorama. I completely agree. Um, we, we, should have, we, should, we, should have, uh, we should get going on this thing. <coughs> and there's no reason at all why we shouldn't take a decision that will be massively in the long-term interests of this country. Uh, we're losing business. We're losing opportunities to uh, France, to Germany, to the Dutch, uh, to Madrid. Um, this is a great, great co trading country, and uh, we made a historic mistake in the 1960s by letting our, our docks get, uh, our dock business go to, to Rotterdam. Uh, we cannot lose our aviation business. It's, it's absolutely vital. So let's, let's make this a keynote event on the 27th of April. I'm sure with, with you there, Dick, who can lose? It's going to be stellar. It's going to be stellar. Thank you.